بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس ایس کرنٹ افیرز 2016 question number 4 discuss the possibilities of progress under the recently agreed rubric of comprehensive dialogue between Pak and India in your opinion what are the major constraints at present let's start the comprehensive dialogue between Pakistan and India which was argued upon in 2016 held the possibility of progress in resolving some of the long standing issues between the two countries including the dispu- dispute over kashmir cross border terrorism and water sharing these are the main <coughs> dispute between the two countries however the progress under the comprehensive dialogue has been limited and there have been numerous constraints and challenges that have hindered the pro- process some of the major constraints include one is the lack of trust the relationship between pakistan and india has been marked by the deep lack of trust which has made it difficult to move forward on any of the key issues the history of the conflict and the repeated violations of the past agreements have eroded the trust between the two sides making it difficult to build confidence and establish a constructive dialogue second is domestic political considerations domestic political considerations including the influence of hardline nationalist groups and the lack of political will have hindered progress in the comprehensive dialogue both countries have been facing political pressure from nationalist groups that oppose any concessions or compromises making it difficult for the governments to take bold steps toward the towards resolving their differences third one is cross border terrorism cross border terrorism continues to be a major source of tension between the two countries with each side accusing the other of supporting and harboring terrorists until the issue of terrorism is addressed and the security concerns of both countries are addressed addressed progress in the comprehensive dialogue will be limited <coughs> fourth one is strategic and military considerations the strategic and military considerations of both countries also pose a major constraint as the two countries are both nuclear armed and have a history of military conflicts the presence of military and strategic considerations makes it difficult for the two sides to take bold steps towards resolving their differences as any misstep could have serious consequences in conclusion <coughs> While the comprehensive dialogue between Pakistan and India held the possibility of progress the major constraints including the lack of trust domestic political considerations cross border terrorism and strategic and military consideration have limited the progress that has been made resolving these constraints will require a sustained effort from both sides as well as the support of the international community thank you for watching allah hafiz milte hain next topic mein